Hey, what's up guys? This is a quick tutorial on how to use Showbox on your NVIDIA Shield or Android TV device. Um, it's pretty simple. Uh, I'll show you how to download and install it and even um, make a shortcut on your uh, desktop for it. Well, main menu of your Shield or Android TV device, whatever you want to say. Um, it's pretty simple, but uh, we'll jump right into it. You'll want to use a, a browser. Um, what you can do is use Puffin Browser because it's already on the Google Play for Android TV. Um, I side-loaded Chrome just because I like Chrome better. But uh, any way you can download it is fine. But we'll jump in right here real quick. Um, I'll go to My Recent Apps by double-tapping the Home button here. Go to Chrome. And we'll go to Showbox and Google it. You know, like I said, any browser you want to use, Google Showbox, and you'll go right here to download Showbox APK. Come down here to download the latest version, which will be currently right now is this one. When you click on that, it will download it. You'll have to come down here. And right here is where you'll get your download. I'll download it just for the sake of showing how to do it. Shouldn't take very long. There it goes. If you want, you can open it from here and install it. You know, come down here and install. Or you can use a file browser. Whatever one you want to use. I like using 7-Zipper because I find it easier than using the ES File Explorer. Uh, just because I can navigate it with the D-pad. And uh, you can use the right analog stick as the mouse and A to click. I just feel like it's a lot easier than trying to run around the uh, ES File Explorer. But anyway, you can go to where you downloaded it, which will be in your downloads folder, and install it. And once you've installed it, you can either use Sideload Launcher, which is also on Google Play, which you would go into it like this, and you know, you'd look through your list of apps, and you'd find Showbox and open it up. But you can make it a little bit easier and download TV App Repo from the Google Play Store on the Shield, or like I said, or any Android TV device as far as I know. And this will bring up the list of your apps that you have installed. Um, here's Showbox, you can click on it, and you can go to Advanced, and you can uh, link a photo to use as your icon, or you can just have it qu quickly create a shortcut, it'll download and install an APK shortcut that you can install, and that way it'll put it on your desktop. And when you get done, it'll look like that if you just did the basic uh, create shortcut for that. So it makes it a lot more convenient than having to jump in here every time. You can just throw it wherever you want and just jump straight in. Um, the right analog stick will control your mouse cursor and A will count as clicking. Um, so you can go and let's see, I'll go to my favorite shows here. Uh, let's see, for example, uh, Bob's Burgers, why not? Uh, you can kind of two-hand it where you'll have your left thumb on the control stick and then your right thumb on the A button. That way you can kind of scroll and click at the same time. You can hold down to drag. Uh, usually after you've pulled down once, you can use the D-pad up and down to scroll up and down. But we'll click on one just as an example here. If you come up here to these three little dots, you can choose your quality. I always just go with 720p. Um, stick with server A. That seems to be the one that works right now. Sometimes it'll have server B, but I have the best luck with server A. Whenever I have server B, it's just in just 480 or 360. So stick with server A. Do not go to torrents unless you have a VPN because that'll stream from a torrent website, which will flag your internet service provider that you know, you're doing things you shouldn't be. 
But if you stick with the server A and just stream it and watch it through there, you should be fine. Uh, so I've got 720 set. We'll hit. You can either hit this play button right here or watch now. An ad will come up. It'll either be one of these or one that you can exit out of with like a little. It'll have an X in the corner. So we'll wait a second just to show as an example here. Skip ad. And there you go. It'll start playing. You can click on the screen to bring up this. And, you know, you can click wherever you want down here or do a little fast forward. Uh, your start button or I guess the button to the right of your NVIDIA Shield logo on the controller will pause it. And uh, yeah, as you can see it works. You can press back button to get back out of it. And uh, that's pretty much it. It works pretty good. Um, you don't know if you've seen other videos on Showbox, you know, you can, you've got all your different things you can go through here. Settings. No, sorry, add. Uh, I would, like I said, I wouldn't mess with downloads. Uh, your default player, you can set it to whatever you want. I leave it on this and it automatically just plays it within um, Showbox. I don't have VLC, but I think it just kind of automatically plays it through the system. You can choose other player, which will give you the pop-up option to choose whatever you want if you have an installed video player such as like MX player. But uh, yeah, there's not much to it. Um, you can add your favorites and stuff like if you go to TV shows or movies you can click on one and add to favorites which will bring it into that favorites list that I pulled up. I'll go to new releases and go to it'll come up in my but uh, yeah, that's about it. It works great. Um, there's nothing really else to say. Have a good one, guys.